My name is Jack and I'm 23 years old. Hi, my name is Vidiviana Hernandez and I'm 31 years old. My name is Chris and I'm 16 years old. So previously I was a junior with the company for two years. Um, I've done many things with the company, so I've done educational programs like Prenzelos, working with school children, and I've also done touring around the Netherlands in Ballet Blanc and Ballet Blues. And I've also done the Christmas production, so with Alice in the Winter Wonderland. And uh, yeah, this year's the Nutcracker, so this is the first time doing Nutcracker for me. And yeah, so I've done lots of different work with them, and I've also worked with them on Armin van Buren shows as well, so many different things. Uh, well, after being in school, I had the opportunity of working in the second year of the Nutcracker, where I was doing the Spanish role. And then after that, I went back to my country and one and a half year ago, I did a production of the Alice in Wonderland also. And since then, I've been doing a couple of freelance works with them, like uh, Flesh and Bones, uh, kind of the intro for the, for the HBO program. And also I did the mode show for Poor House with the TTT. And now I'm not back at again. So uh, this is my second year of being in a Christmas performance of the DVD. And last year was my first time with Alice. And I really got in touch with the DVD because a lot of my friends also auditioned for the show. Uh, for me as a student still, um, it's a really nice experience. Last year I was in Corte Ballet and now I'm more with also them and more less with the Corte Ballet. And there's really a difference between, between the Corte Ballet and the pros. Yeah, so I find the experience really nice. Um, I've been working with Tony Rooms for a couple of years now, so I understand, I think, what they look for um, in terms of performance and, and also to work with the juniors, again, is a really nice experience. And it's a really, like, a family atmosphere, I think. It's, it's a very nice company because we all get opportunities to dance when you're a dancer here. You all get solo role as well as group work, which is an unusual experience, I think, for a first-time dance that when you come out of the school so I think it's a, it's a fantastic opportunity and I'm really enjoying working with them again. Well I really like to work with the DDD. I, I work as a freelance dancer so I, that means that I do different productions with different companies and people and I think the nice thing about the DDD is that it's really a classical uh, experience for me. Mostly you do a lot of uh, modern work uh, here in the Netherlands and this is also nice to see the, the young dancers really going for it and really giving all having this energy to really want to dance and also I think as a, as a freelance dancer also they bring it to you. So I really enjoy to, to be working with them and to have all this nice energy from everybody, from all the dancers. Uh, I play a really a lot of roles. In the overture I'm the poor guy, then I will be the soldier doll. The someone who goes to church, I will be the snowstorm, I will be a red, and I will be uh, in the flower walls. In the first act, I am one of the mechanical dolls uh, there, and I am the mouse. And also, I am one of the snow leads in the first act, together with another junior dancer. And in the second act, I'm a flower lead in the flower walls. Uh, I'm playing Uncle Unico and uh, that's a, a character role and I appear throughout the ballet. Um, I'm the uncle of Amalia and uh, yeah, so I'm throughout the ballet I appear and I sort of bring the story together. So doing Uncle Unico and learning from Rinz was a, a really exciting experience for me. It's my first time doing a big character role. Normally I'm more of a, yeah, a dancer with the company so it was a, a very different experience and it was nice to have his guidance because he's quite experienced and he really understood um, where, what I should be doing in what moments and musicality and also giving me tips on, on how to present myself and how I should be thinking because I think as a character you also have to be very aware of what you're thinking about because that also comes across to the audience and you have to be um, yeah, very in the moment and I think also it's quite a mysterious role and so he was able to explain to me uh, you know what my motivation is for all of my movements and, and what I'm doing with different people. Um, for me it's also really about uh, many new things because I have to do partner work and I have to do uh, really different things as I do in school or as I normally do, so it's fun for me. Uh, it's very nice to do it. It was a little bit different because we were not playing in a, in a theatre, so we were playing in the Grotekerk 
in the center, which was also a beautiful atmosphere. It gave a whole nice feeling of the nutcracker, going to the church, everything. There was a small, there was a stage there where we could dance on. And I think just everything was really nice. Everything gave you the idea that you really were going to the church, that you were in the nutcracker and it was very nice to do it also. Yeah, I'm really enjoying Nutcracker too. I think it's, yeah, it's my first time doing the Nutcracker, so it's a really exciting experience for me. And it's it's kind of a rite of passage, I think, as a dancer to do the Nutcracker. So to, to finally get to do it is really exciting and I've really enjoyed the process. Ik hoop dat jullie het weer een leuk notenkrakersjournaal vonden. En uh, we maken ons klaar voor de voorstellingen. En vergeet niet hè, nog meer filmpjes te bekijken. Tot volgende keer.